renovation department. Hello, ma'am. Is this the probation department? Uh, yes, it is. Is it? Is there somebody I could talk to? I've been looking online. There's a lot of uh, reviews on it. Bad service. Um, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> Who are you with? Who am I with? Yes. I'm with myself. Okay. And what is he doing? We're uh, independent media. We're gathering content for a story. Okay. You cannot be recording. And he's recording on his phone, so he needs to turn it off. Okay, why can't we record? Is there a law? Melinda, would you come to the front desk, please? I wonder who did. Okay. Getting a supervisor for you, okay? Thank you, ma'am. She's getting a supervisor. Oh, okay, that's great. I think some other people got to get in there. up there. They don't have my permission oh. to record me. Well, I guess we better have a lawsuit against them, man. Actually, I need you to leave the building. If you don't, I will call OPD. Okay, fine, I'll call. Was that supervisor coming out to see me? Yeah, or? she's the one that told you to leave the building. Okay, well, I have a public records request to make, so I yes. still need to see her regardless. make a public records request through if she's not going to talk to me. Um, she will. They can go to the courthouse and get the public records from the courthouse. Well, actually, I get it from the custodian of the records. You can go to the courthouse and get it if you want to. <coughs> public records, public information, you can get it there. Right. The, uh, the Florida law states that I go to the custodian of the records where the records are normally kept. Are your records kept at the courthouse? You guys keep no records here? He just told you, right? So there's no records here? Of what? I wanted to open record request that phone list you have right there on your bulletin board. The phone list of, for what? That's our extensions here. Okay. Yeah, let him. Let him okay. Do I go yeah, to the go courthouse to get that? Have, go ahead and have a seat. Okay. how they have that ATM machine right next to the cash window. They are efficient at stealing your money, my friend. Already. I'm 
Is that what they did here? That's that's exactly what they're doing here, stealing people's money for victimless crimes, no doubt, drug charges, all kinds of good stuff here. That's what the state does. They don't like it when they have the cameras pointed back at them, but they sure do have two pointed right at us. We're gonna FOIA request that camera too today. We're gonna get we're gonna get the camera footage for the last two days from that camera. See, because those are our cameras. We're the ones that actually pay for those cameras. Just like we pay for the office and we pay for that lady back there's salary. I want to get all shitty. I came in to do a public records request. From here? Yep. Probation office. What record are you trying to get? I'm trying to get a couple of them, actually. I asked to speak to a supervisor. I'm still waiting. They told me to sit down. Okay. So, if you'd like to, you can speak with them, see what their problem is. What people are you trying to get information on? I'm not trying to get information on people. I want uh, the last two days' footage from the cameras. For what? It's for content, for a story. I'm working on a story. I'm an independent journalist. So. Okay. Do you have ID stating that you have the credentials to be a journalist? <clears throat> Who issues those credentials? Do you know? Whoever you work for. Yeah, no, there is no press credentials. I'm an independent journalist. I could print something out on my printer if it'd make you happy, but I'm not required to by law. Okay. All right, thank you. Now you guys gonna see how the law works. So the deal you guys are absolutely allowed to record. Um, Thank you. The Salvation Army Corrections Department doesn't want you guys here anymore. Okay, so you do you do have to leave? Um, Is this a parole probation office? Uh, and are you on parole? To the or best probation? of my knowledge, yes. Okay. Is it for the public? Are you on yes. parole or probation, but sir? With this, can, with can, this can, can you let me? Yeah, sure. Go. I think she asked her question before me, so. Okay. I am not on parole and probation. Are you telling me that the only person that can public records request no. the probation office is people that's on probation? No, but what oh, we are okay. telling you is that them as a business, they have asked you to leave, okay, and they have every right to do that, okay? okay. Um, it, probation it is, is a business. It, the Salvation Army is a business, yes, sir. Okay. Um, and is the Salvation business, Army customers? Can I, can I talk for a second? Yeah. As a business, just like every other business out there, they have the right to refuse service, okay, and trespass people. From, from their location, okay? So at this point, they want to invoke that right to do that and uh, don't want you guys on the property anymore. Okay, let me just clarify. Sure, sure. Is this state probation office? I'm not 100% sure on that. Can, um, can, can we find now because the state probation office, whether who runs it, uh -huh. is public. Okay. And the public, unless I've committed a crime, has a right to be in a public area. These gentlemen well, behind you are well, part of the public, right? Sure, sure. Okay. But but the thing is, they, as workers here, okay. um, Pu know, Public workers, if the they're working for the knowledge, state? We have a supervisor on the way, so we'll double okay. check, obviously, okay. you know, because I don't want to, I understand you guys are, Because Article uh, 1, Section 2 of the Florida Constitution allows for equal protection. That means sure, if the sure, public's sure. allowed in an area, I'm allowed in the area, with a camera or not. Sure, sure, sure. I'm okay. not saying okay. it's got nothing to do with the camera or anything like that. Please remember that people that come here have jobs. The bosses don't know that they come here. And the fact that you're recording people coming in and out of here puts them at jeopardy with their job and their loved ones. So what you're saying is that these people lie to their bosses and don't tell them they're on probation? That's that's not my fault. I can't help that if they're liars. I mean, they're criminals well, already, since right? you brought up that article about protecting people and privacy and stuff like that, but yet you're here. 
So not giving any regard to other people's privacy. There is no <laughs> privacy in public. Mm -hmm. right. so we all know the plain view doctor. Just arrived, okay, and he'll he'll be able to discuss it with you. Um, you know, he, he obviously knows, you know, obviously he's a supervisor for a reason, okay? Yeah. Um, but they, as a business, do wish to not have you guys here any further, okay? okay. Well, if it's, so. a, if it's a state probation office and the general public's allowed, then, then I'm allowed. No, you're not. Up, up to a point. Up to yes, the point they where they... Leave and you don't leave, you're going to go to jail for trespass after warning, so... The okay. staff has asked them to leave already? No, they haven't asked us to leave. The lady actually has told me to wait. I'm here making a public records request. So in order for them to uh, to deny a public records request, they just asked to leave. All right, guys, time to go. And they said, and they refused to leave. So this is the second time. Okay, so how do I fill a public records request with this office? You guys do. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, bug you anymore. You have to. You have to get off of the property, okay? Um, so they. Yeah, do you guys. Um, nope. Make sure you guys don't come back on the property, obviously, because then it is trespass after warning, okay? This is your warning, whether or not it's in paper or not. Um, you, okay. you can't come back. If you do, you will be. Sick. Can I get names and badge numbers of everybody here, please? Uh, can we get your name, please, so we can document this also? As soon as I get your name and badge numbers. Well, I'm going to give you a case card with our name and case number on it. Okay. Can I get your first name, please, sir? As soon as I get names and badge numbers. Sure. Okay. That's not how T. Robertson, works, sir. badge number 616. Bode. Sergeant Mucci. Mucci. Manucci, not Mucci. What is it, sir? Manucci. Sergeant Manucci. Sergeant Manucci. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Good now. Good now. Thank you. Can I please have your name, sir? T. Robertson, 6168. T1 Robinson. My first name is George. George? Yep. And your last name, Mr. George? Is not going to happen. How do I file a public records request with this office then? I don't know. I, I didn't hear you. I'm not a so just to, just to clarify, when I go into a, a public building, ask for public records, all they have to do is say leave and they don't have to fill my public records. Is that is that what you're saying the law is? Maybe you should Google it. Well, is that what you're saying? You came in saying the law, if they asked me no, to leave, I had to leave. You to leave the property and you don't, then you go to jail. I don't know anything about your request. That's okay. something you need to learn about on your own. I don't have any idea about that. Well, I, I know about it. That's why I'm wondering why you, you guys are trespassing me when I'm here making an open records request. Well, because this is private it's, property and they ask you to leave. It's private? It's not a state probation office? It is owned by somebody, so it makes it private property. When the state rents out a facility, there. when the state Sir, rents out... I'm not going to argue with you about what it is. I'm explaining to you what's going on. I'm not going to debate with you back and forth whether or not this is open to everybody who wants to come inside. Obviously, it's not because they ask you to leave. Okay, so it's restricted to, to certain people. You guys leaving, so that's what happened. So we're done. Okay. All right, you guys have a good day. Thank you. Tell them we'll stand here until they uh, they wish to file the public records request. Also, sir, let me explain something to you also. Mm -hmm. There's an ordinance in the city that says that, that, that you're not allowed to block a sidewalk. Sure. Um, um, which you both are standing on. Yep. Okay? Yep. And there has to be actual traffic no. for you to block. I'm explaining to you what the ordinance is, okay? Yeah, I, I know the ordinance. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. If you're blocking a sidewalk... Mm -hmm. And I ask you to stop blocking the sidewalk, and you do not stop blocking that sidewalk, then you are in violation of the city ordinance. So, you know, I'm just letting you know while you guys are standing out here, okay? Okay. They're also doing construction, so you might want to be careful. Oh, yeah. My lawyer's going to have a heyday with this one.
Well, you heard it, guys. Blocking the sidewalk. Trespassing. Are you blocking the sidewalk? I must be. Total of five cops come out for a public records request. Blocking the sidewalk. Ain't a damn person on this freaking sidewalk. Dude said you might be blocking the sidewalk. Well, if he comes out and barks the order and says we're blocking the sidewalk, we have to jump, right? That's it, buddy. Uh, okay. There's a Sydney ordinance that says no blocking the sidewalk. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if the Salvation Army deposits its trash in the city of Ocala Public Works solid waste bin there. That seems weird for a private company to have a Public Works trash can. Well, where does all the money go? Does the money go to all to a private company? Or does the city get its share of the spec? I've never actually heard of a private company doing state probation. This would be amazing to find out. I'm going to have to research it more. Without the city or county, guess the county get at least getting their share. I mean, how would that how would that even work though? I mean, what does the Salvation Army go out and arrest people and convict them in their Salvation Army court and then put them on Salvation Army probation? sense to me. Alright, these guys have taken off.